The Macintosh system has been being developed for 15 years or more. And what we found was, literally, after 15 years, there was a lot of barnacles and crust in there. About 2,000 of those APIs are bad news. And so we decided to have the courage to get rid of them. And we're doing exactly that in Mac OS X. We are renaming the clean 6,000 APIs, plus a few new ones we have added, Carbon. All life forms will be based on it. What this means is, is that to take advantage of this modern OS, it's only going to require a small tune-up of these apps, not a rewrite. And big news, Carbon is going to run on OS 8. We are going to be providing the libraries for OS 8 with the new APIs so that when you tune up an application for Carbon, you can make a version for OS 10 and a version for OS 8 off the same exact source code. When we last met a year ago, we had just finished our second quarter of profitability. And I know a lot of you were asking the question, well, you know, can this continue? And I'm very pleased to report a year later that it did continue. And Apple has seen some, some healthy profits in the last year since we've met. I don't think there's ever been a better time to be a Mac developer. First thing is, we released the first Apple's first product based on Mac OS X technology called the Mac OS X server in January. So we're pretty excited about this product. It's Apple's first really modern server product ever. And uh, so far, the, the response has been very positive. Mac OS X client is based on that same core of software that we have put into open source we call Darwin. So the Darwin core which is mock, BSD, et cetera, is what we base the Mac OS X client on. And we believe that taking that stuff open source is going to be terrific for us. There's been a tremendous number of downloads. Already we're starting to get people feeding back suggestions and bugs and things like that. And we think it's going to make better products for everyone all the way around. Now on top of Darwin, we layer on top something we are calling Quartz. And what Quartz is, is a whole new imaging model and windowing system for Mac OS X. We wanted a windowing system and a graphics model that was based on the latest and greatest stuff, and that is the PDF standard invented by Adobe. And we believe in that standard, and we are embracing that standard, and we are building it into Mac OS X. This is the direction our entire design and publishing market is going. It's also, we believe, the direction the web is going in terms of graphics. PDF is the richest content on the web, and we're going to support it as native and what we're basing our entire imaging model and windowing system on. And we've added to PDF <coughs> full compositing. So all of those wonderful things you can do in terms of compositing uh, in, thing, in applications like Photoshop, the basic operations of those things are built into the core of Mac OS X full alpha channel, and the original Pixar compositing operators upon which all this stuff is based. There are three application environments built on top of this very powerful Darwin and Quartz foundation. And the first one of those, we used to call Blue Box, and now we call Classic. And Classic is an environment that runs existing Mac apps without modification. But far more exciting than that <coughs> is the Carbon environment. Carbon is something that we announced at last year's developers conference. And lastly, Mac OS X is going to come with what was formerly called Yellow Box. We are renaming it to Cocoa. We're renaming it to Cocoa 
because in addition to its Objective-C APIs, we have added full Java APIs on top of Cocoa. I know a lot of you are very familiar with this. Um, QuickTime is an incredibly important strategic technology and set of initiatives for Apple. We're really serious about digital media. Apple invented this stuff a long time ago. Now, QuickTime 4 is the latest incarnation of QuickTime. It features a ton of new codecs and other great technology, but the biggest thing it features is, of course, live internet streaming, so that you can download stuff, but you, you can also stream stuff live. We've also introduced QuickTime TV to broadcast content right now. All of our competitors require that you go to them and pay them a lot of money for fancy server software to run on your server. We call it a server tax. What is the television station for QuickTime TV? It is any server running the new open protocols for streaming on the internet, RTP and RTSP the new industry standards, and anyone who implements those and runs a server using them can be a television station on QuickTime TV. We are not interested in making any money taxing server software. And as a matter of fact, we've written one that conforms to the standard called the QuickTime Streaming Server. server. We give it away free with Mac OS X, and we also give the source code away, and it's now running on Linux, and it's running on NT, and there's more to follow very shortly. But there's one more thing that we think is going to be even bigger. Matter of fact, I think this is going to be the next big thing. <laughs> I think it's going to be just huge. And that is the ability to play movies. All the iMac TVs also have the ability to make movies. We have written some software called iMovie, which is a breakthrough piece of software that lets you make movies right on the desktop with your new iMac TV. You can be the director and the producer. You can rearrange clips. You can put titles in and scrolling credits. You can put beautiful transitions and special effects in. You can drop soundtracks and sound effects in and make movies right on your desktop. And when you're done, you can store your movie on your local hard disk or some local removable storage, or you can compress the file and make a QuickTime movie out of it and email it to somebody or put it on your personal website. Firewire that enables us to connect the camcorders. QuickTime, the foundation, and this amazing new application we've written called iMovie. All five of these things are coming together. Four of them Apple created to make something new called desktop video, which we think is going to be as big as desktop publishing was.